console players, you've always been looking for a way to auto load logs, right? Well, check this out. Space game here in Silver Run Forest. You're going to be able to do just that. How's it going, everybody? Driver Vinny 3 here. And yes, I just put those in there using an auto load feature. This is standard in the Platinum expansion here. Man, Silver Run Forest, it's amazing. But this right here is a game changer for sure. Let me show you the equipment you're going to need. The best way to find this combination here is to come down to your mods and DLCs, go over to Platinum Expansion, and then you're just going to make your way across until you find the auto load container. And it's going to be right here, almost all the way at the end. It's called a shipping container. We're going to call it the auto load container. So you've got different configurations here. You can get a 20 foot, a 40 foot, or a 30 foot. I'm going to go ahead and go with the 20 foot right now. For design, you have a choice of a couple different logos right here. You've got the forestry or the logistics. And for the color, you got anything base game. I'm just going to go ahead and pick orange because it's going to be easy to see out there in the woods. Let's go ahead and buy this right now. Now, now that I've got this, I need to come back across here to the left until I find this trailer right here, the Low Loader 3A. Now, it's going to hold any size container that we get. And I'm going to show you the trick on that. Here in just a second we're going to go and leave this exactly as it is you can do a spare wheel you can change the color to anything that you want also rim color we're going to get it just like this it's pretty easy to be able to adjust the length of this trailer here all you're going to need to do is make sure that you have the trailer selected hold your r1 and then move down on your r3 joystick and that's going to extend that out you're going to be able to put a 40 foot uh, container on there we're going to go and leave this short right here because we've only got the 20 footer today now here we've got the manitou that comes as part of the map and what i mean by that is you don't own it you don't lease it it's just already over there at the southern sawmill to be able to load and unload things but we're going to be able to use it here at the store to be able to load this container onto the flatbed one thing that i want to go ahead and do is widen out my forks here to give me a little bit more stability so now i'm going to go ahead and back up and you can see right there on the shipping container it's got a couple spots for forks to go in i'm gonna lower it down we're gonna go up to it as you can see down at the bottom right it gives me a volume now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pick this up i'm gonna tilt it back just a little bit and we're gonna move around over here to the trailer so what i want to do is go ahead and put this right here on the back of the trailer because it's going to be important you keep it on the back that way it's easier to load so i'm just going to go ahead and move it all right in this area here so I just got to get it lined up and then we're just going to go ahead and lower it down. Now I'm going to show you that it's going to be off center just a little bit, but it's going to be all right because as soon as I do this, see how it snapped into place. Look at that. It's hanging over the back. It's, it's crazy. I know. I, I think it's made to have like two of them on here, but that's where it snaps to and it's perfectly fine. It's not going to go anywhere. Like I'll show you, I'll run into this thing. And it's not going to go anywhere at all. See? It's locked in position on that trailer. Now that we're at the job site, we need to go ahead and open up the doors. All you have to do is come up to it, hit L3, and they're going to open up automatically. Now that i got my tree cut down, I need to go ahead and start cutting it up into the links that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right over here to this container. All right. Now I'm going to raise up just a little bit on it. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting them into this container. All right. So all I got to do is hit my L1 and cut. And watch this right here. Boom. The entire thing went super easy. Now, I am getting a little bit of a penalty because one of those pieces was not quite six meters. But y'all, that's how easy auto load is. Now, you can also use a wheel loader or any other thing that you need to be able to get these logs up in here. All you have to do is just get them super close here to the end, and then boom, there you go. They're, they're going to go straight in there. It, it's super, super easy, everybody. But what we're going to do now is since we've got a full-ish trailer here, I'm going to go ahead and close up the door, and I'm going to show you exactly where to sell these at. And you want to come up here to the north sawmill. There's a spot here for selling containers just like this. So you're going to be careful not to get hit by the train. And then you're going to come and drive right over this area right here. All you have to do is drive over it. You don't have to get um, out or do anything else. It's automatically going to sell $31,000 roughly right there. Now, you guys were seeing that this thing is a little bit tricky to drive with all that weight there over the, uh, the rear of the trailer. 
Yeah, I um, I I recommend getting a little bit longer of the trailer after driving this one. Um, I've been using the 40 footer with no problems at all. Um, I wanted to use a shorter one for this video, but I really think the 40 is going to be the way to go. It's only fifty five hundred dollars and it's going to take the exact same equipment here to load it up and to do everything like that. And yes, the container does disappear, but you are reimbursed for it. You just have to go pick up another one and then you're good to go and make tons of money using this equipment right here. That's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future tips and tricks and tutorial videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver83 signing off.